Welcome back to Modern Homestead Alaska. We are going to work on several cool projects today. Join us. Welcome to Modern Homestead Alaska. We are Erin and Jessica Milnes. We are building a modern homestead outside of Wasilla, Alaska with the help of three of our children. Our second son, Caleb, our daughter, Cody Ann, and the youngest of our family, Wyatt, along with our three dogs, Tipper and Daisy, and the newest addition, Roberto. I'm kind of starting today's video with the repurposing of this frame. I got it from my grandmother. She was putting it in a yard cell. She had gotten it someplace. She liked the oil painting that was in it, but didn't care for the frame. And the frame was gold originally, and it is huge. The mirror part that I get put in in a minute is 35 inches by 25 inches, something like that. But it is wood and plaster, and I had painted it this white, this antiqued white for Cody's bedroom in Arizona, my bedroom once upon a time, and now I am going to just prime the, the frame, the mirror, the frame, and get it ready for paint because we are going to be using it in the living room. After I finish priming it and letting it dry for 24 plus hours, I took it to the basement and I painted it a matte black and we headed off to the glass shop to have the mirror part put in it. And then what they do is they measure the frame and they custom cut this really thick piece of mirrored glass to go inside of the frame. Because of the age of the frame, it was a little bit wonky, so they had to put some weight on it and they kept it overnight. I just got the frame home and I was gonna show you why you don't wanna fully finish something like this before you take it in because they had to put it face down and it rubbed some of the black off. So some nicks. Now, if that's the look you're going for, great, that would work fine. If not, and you want it nice and clean, now I have the opportunity to kind of touch it up with a brush and get it waxed before we get it on the wall. I also, because of the eye hooks that are on this frame, it causes it to hang not straight. And so I put these little finishing nails in the back to kind of pop the bottom out and it hung much better as well. So many of you had given me great ideas and I've thought and thought and thought and originally I wanted to paint this cabinet black to go in the front space and match the rest of the house. Well, I really liked it red. That is kind of what held me off and I liked the color of red I had painted it, kind of this antique barn color and have had it this way for many, many years. And then I decided, you know what, I'll go ahead and prime it. I'll paint it black, but I thought I would leave like kind of those centers. I had found one really, really similar to it on Pinterest and they had painted it black and then it was the original wood, which was a similar color to the red. So I tried doing kind of that method and it did not work. As you can see here, as I'm peeling off this, this blue tape, and even though it's only the first coat, I'm like, nope, pull it apart. It is not working. The whole thing just needs to be black. Some of you have kind of asked um, where I get these ideas or these designs or whatever it is. They honestly just come out of my head, but I do spend an incredible amount of time dwelling on what I kind of envision and think of every detail to the point it literally keeps me up at night sometimes and it it turns out beautifully, but these kind of wild designs truly just come out of my head. Cody is so cute about it because she's like, I could not imagine when you were trying to tell me what it was going to be or what it was going to look like. 
how it would come together, but somehow we find a way to find all of these old pieces. Like you can see the couch behind me, the table, both of the tables, in fact, and the chairs that go with them. These are all old pieces of furniture that I've painted and managed to make them work together. So here's kind of where we're starting in this living room. I have just stuff everywhere going on. This is the big giant, look how tall it is, blank wall that I hate, but the room itself is really small square footage wise. So putting something big here, I think will kind of draw the attention from the front door on in. And then I have a plan for this pellet stove area. The thing that I'm gonna have built right now, I think I might paint it out, but we'll see how far that we can make it in today's video. So let's just get started with repairing where I have done so many screws and holes and whatnot in this wall and then get some touch up paint going. I went ahead and started with some wall touch up. If you remember, we have had some issues with the paint. <gasps> it's the right color <laughs> this time. I had to go into Sherwin-Williams and have a long conversation with them yesterday. They even looked up our contractor that had painted the house. They did all the drywall and the paint and I read the bucket, sent Cody, and she got flat. Turns out what our contractor did was instead of a tinted primer, or they did primer, but they used like half primer, half flat, agreeable gray, which is the color of our walls. And so when Cody got the flat, like immediately it was like, oh my gosh, it's the wrong color, but look, I, you can see that <laughs> like that's bad bad doesn't match but it covered up all the flaws and I'm like it's fine I'll find some place to use that gallon of paint whatever but let me just tell you with the dogs believe it or not like Roberto rubs on this wall you have um, the pellet stove which is still a fireplace so it puts off um, ash and dust and, and dirt. So Wyatt helped me wipe all the way to the ceilings. He got up on the um, ladder with a broom with a rag attached to it. We cleaned off the ceilings and the wall and I'm watching it just dry and it matches, thank the Lord, because this house is big enough and the ceilings are so tall and I'm so bad with ladders and I'm the only one that paints. Like Aaron absolutely loathes it. So if it was the wrong color, we were going to have to repaint our entire house. Well, I would have stopped in this room, but like, look at the height beyond like, <sighs> so anyway, super excited. I'm gonna do some touch up on the trim right here. Oh my gosh, also it just like, it's so fresh and clean. Just clean paint is just as wonders. Um, so do some touch up paint at home. It is amazing what it does. Even look at this trim where like the, I vacuum or run the floor cleaner or whatever and it leaves like marks along the trim. I'm just gonna be able to run along there. The clean rag and then a little bit of the exact white brand and color and then just touch all that up. We'll be able to decorate this wall, do the floors, bring the couch back in. Stick with me. I am never going to quit saying it. When you have something built and you know how you're going to be using the space, do not cave on it. I've talked about it before. The electrician really felt like that needed to be a TV wall. And I knew in my gut it was never going to be a TV wall, nor do we plan on selling this house. Therefore, having this electrical and that TV outlet for cable, the funny thing, we don't even have internet or cable. So 
Anyway, I just did some touch-up paint, did all of the trim in this room, and got the wall ready. So we can get some stuff off the floor. Why don't I move the couch back at the depth into the living room it goes? So I kind of want to leave that space there over the couch. When hopes and dreams, I do have a plan. I bought the wood for it and I got some really cool like mantle pieces. When we have our faux mantle around this pellet stove, the width of it would be out to here at a max. So we've just set this board against here so that we know the stuff we're creating has to go within there. I'm just gonna grab the ladder and we're gonna figure out how to put this wall together. Obviously, I had created these wall sconces and this picture frame and I had an idea of where I wanted everything to go. And so we just kind of held it all up and figured it out and then Wyatt helped me climb the ladder and screw all of it in. Those wall sconces are 60 inches long. So I keep feeling like in on camera and pictures, whatever, that you can't really tell truly how big the wall is and how big um, just of a blank space this really was and putting these big pieces on really, really filled it in. I then did go over and on that day, um, the paint had dried completely. I'd done two coats on this cabinet. I use, it's a wax or an oil that goes with like chalk paint. So what I have learned over the years and kind of wanted to share with you all is if you take that and like a chip brush and just kind of work it into that flat or matte paint, it protects the paint, number one, and number two, it gives it kind of that finished shine to it without being super shiny like a gloss or something like that. And truthfully, it is what I've been doing for years on furniture, and it has uh, truly worked out to be kind of one of the best. You can kind of see here how it's all going to end up coming together. <sighs> All right, so no matter how long it takes me in real life to kind of get these spaces done and reveal it on this video, we are going to get there. So stick with me to the end. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. We do eventually accomplish things on this channel. So today though, it's been a couple of days. We take breaks on the weekend. We went fishing that was quite the adventure and then yesterday we lost our dog so here is my encouragement today i looked around it's too overwhelming to tackle the kitchen it's too overwhelming to tackle the kids bedrooms it's too overwhelming to sit on the couch so this morning I turn on a cast from Clutter Bugs video and she's like mindlessly clean. I'll actually see if I can link the video so you can go and watch it. And I was shocked that she is emotionally where I'm at. I've never shared on here. My dad was diagnosed with cancer in December and also on top of losing the dog my dad had his cancer removed this week so my understanding is they got it all and now he goes into treatment so that's all i'm okay with saying about it <clears throat> so she's going through all these crazy similar things and i have chosen a space that i can tackle which is the tiniest room in the house really was doing fine until I started talking out loud, my mouth moving. So I have already cleared the table out of here, the rug out of here, started sweeping. I have the tablecloth clean. I even 
had washed a week or so ago all of the chair cushions. I just got like literally the cheapest chair cushion off of Amazon over a year ago. Threw those in the washer, they washed up fine. Dog hair is off of them. And I am struggling to just move around and I need to be moving and I need to mindlessly tackle things, kind of that zombie cleaning. And so I put on Dawn the Minimal Mom, who then has made me super emotional. Maybe to end this video, you don't get to see the whole reveal, but what you get instead is, is the best I could do. So Aaron and I struggle in making the videos of like I run everything by him, even though I'm creatively in control of the channel. Um, <clears throat> do we keep it being just open, honest, emotional place? I know a lot of men don't enjoy <laughs> that part of my channel. Um, but so many of you reached out and you've lost fur babies recently or family member has or in the past, you know. So many of you have a loved one that's fighting cancer and or you yourself are. And I have, in my opinion, in my opinion, the most beautiful life. The view behind me is filling my soul with gratitude that I get to live in this space and live this life and that within our home, we're healthy and our dog had a really good life and Erin and I had really, um, bringing her here, someone had offered because the trip here was really hard and we, we did have to medicate her, like some arthritis medications and some other things and we just wanted to see Daisy run free, which is what she had done the last two years of her life. Every day we would laugh. The neighbor would call me once in a while and be like, Daisy's up at the road. She would just go on these hour long hikes and walkabouts and she loved to swim her whole life and was just, she always just came home. You know what I mean? Wagging her tail and happy and no chain around her neck and no fence to stop her. And she's had that freedom of life all the way to the end. So celebrating instead of mourning, but mourning along with the celebration, if that makes sense at all, is kind of where I'm at. So I finished this video that was never intended to have any emotions <laughs> other than, yay, look at what I built, um, attached to it. Instead, we're just saying, this is how we feel today. And we're gonna tackle and end the video by doing what I can do, which is this tiniest space before I have to go get Wyatt from school and I have to drop off some eggs to someone because we're overflowing with eggs and someone, um, I got a text, someone was in need. And so I said, yes, absolutely, I'll, take that person eggs, not sell that person eggs. I take people eggs. Um, and then we're gonna tackle this room. You might not see a difference in the end, but believe it or not, if you can see the floor, it is just covered in dog hair and dust and gross. And, and like I said, Daisy had a accident that I didn't notice. Um, on the trim over there. So I have to clean up a dog mess. And um, so I thought I would touch it up and put it back together. And this would be it. This would be the ending is being able to just finish a space and do the best that I could with today and never beat ourselves up or put ourselves down and actually be able to pat myself on the back and say, I did the best I could with the week I was given, I felt my feelings, but I moved forward in life, found gratitude in all of it, and found some joy, and allowed myself to move in a way that 
at the end of today, I'll be able to sit on the couch. I'll see this space done and I will have a little bit of rest and relaxation and peace because I'll have a beautiful space put back together the way I have designed it and decorated it and done it for me. So let's just get right to that. So here's the hoping that a few of you are just cleaning along, you're doing something, you're watching me. I am kind of that distraction, if you will. I am your <laughs> zombie buddy so that you can clean and get some things done, tackle some stuff in your own home or your own life, and you are just hanging out with me, watching me kind of tackle this space. A couple of thoughts I had is our house for the most part is new. January of 2022, it was officially considered built or done, finished, what have you. But with the amount of wood stoves we have and the pellet stove, this room was actually dirtier than I thought. Like the coloring was just a little bit dirty and I think it's the ash and the soot that comes off of the stove that's right behind it. And not only that, we used this room last year as our seat starting area and even the windowsills were just full of plants and so on. The dog bed has been in there for a long time so the dogs rub up against the wall. The black from the chairs is all damaging to all of it. And then you can kind of see like where I push the, the carpet cleaner and the vacuum along the trim kind of leaves this, this mark along all of it. So just doing touch up paint, staying on top of touch up paint and keeping it clean and I'm not talking monthly this is a once a year sort of thing that we did I had done this in January before we closed on the house last year and so it's just been a year it's so amazing how clean it looks and feels in all of the rooms that I have kind of touched with paint and trim pulled off decorations, gotten everything just really wiped down and clean, put back on the walls. It is amazing how good you feel afterwards. These crosses I've been asked about, my sister picked them up. Someone had handmade them and she gave them to me many, many years ago as a gift and they have been with us that entire time so no i would have no idea but they basically are just some old pieces of wood with the words um faith hope and love on them anyway thank you those of you that have stuck around to the end let's just see where we made it. So this Eden breakfast nook area, sorry about that. I did do some laundry washer and dryer running. Oh, the touch up paint, the black chairs kind of scuff the walls and stuff like that. It's just crisp and clean now. I'm gonna wash the windows when I do this wall and wash those windows, but I like to let the paint around um, the framework dry before I do any of that. The living room, I think, turned out beautifully. Many of you are talking about the black cabinet of my great grandmother's has been painted and it has, and kind of my thought process, as I continue to just kind of work on that space, I'll show it to you later, is it now, once I get the decorations and the painting and everything done over there, it now looks like it flows into e each other. We do have a plan, we're moving along, but for the most part, like I think it ended up lovely. Um, I really love how that mirror <laughs> turned out with the wall sconces. And then just having spaces like this, I did 
got the floors all clean and then worked that through the living room and stuff off camera but yeah I feel better now I'm actually instead of continuing to clean and do all of that which I could I think I'm just gonna veg out and watch some Netflix or YouTube or something while I do some work for school work on my garden stuff that's a happy place for me so I think that's what I'm gonna do my gratitude for the day is each and every one of you that have stuck through with me um, all the way to the end of this video given me your time and your energy and your attention it is so greatly appreciated I don't I don't know how else to say it but thank each and every one of you for being here with me today and choosing to spend your time with me when you could be spending it with anyone so thank you so much until next time be blessed i'll see you guys in the next video for those of you that are wondering daisy's last moments were spent with her family aaron and cody both left work early and came home to be with her and Wyatt left school yesterday morning, sometime between four and about seven in the morning, Daisy had to have had a stroke or an aneurysm or something that left Daisy paralyzed from the neck down. And she was not in pain or showing signs of stress she had just completely lost the ability to get up and to walk or to stand or to move or to be comfortable on her own. And we made the decision as a family that Daisy got to leave with some grace and some dignity. Thank you for your love, your kindness, and your concern. Rest in peace, baby girl.